Hey you guys, welcome back to Lisa and Company and today is our Trash to Treasure collab with the Schwowin's Nest. Make sure you hop on over to Sandra's channel and see what she made for you today and click on that playlist down in the description box so you can watch what everybody who's participating created today. So what did I make? Well, we made a Valentine's wreath, but it's not just any Valentine's wreath. So stay tuned and see how it turned out. So I picked up this really great preserved wreath at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. But why was it there? Well, it was broken. So it was new and it looked like it had come from some kind of HomeSense winners, which would be like your Home Goods or TJ Maxx. So I attempted to fix it with some hot glue, but yeah, that didn't quite work out like I planned. So I just grabbed a small wood piece and used that to hold all the back together. And mission accomplished. Now this is a super simple idea that you can use for anything. I just happened to put them on the wreath. So I've got some Dollar Store yarn and some Dollar Tree wooden hearts. And yep, you guessed it you guys, we are going to wrap them in yarn. We're gonna do this with all kinds of different yarns and twines and materials so that we can get a really great textured wreath. So, how do we do it? Well, I just put a little bit of glue down, I attached it, and I started wrapping. This is one of those techniques that is great for hanging out in front of Netflix and making all these hearts. So you just wrap and wrap and wrap a little bit more. I did put a little dot of hot glue once in a while if I was trying to fill in an area. And I'm not gonna lie, this used a lot more yarn than I thought it was going to, but the end result is spectacular. Because I wanted this wreath to have lots of texture, I did a couple in my fuzzy white yarn that I used on my farmhouse pillow. I did that pink one you saw up front. I used that thick chunky twine and that was the hardest one. However, I had tried to use the thinner twine and it just didn't cover well. Now on this one, one that's the Ikea twine that I picked up on my Ikea haul. It was really too thick, but at this point I was invested and I was going to make it work. Because it's Valentine's Day, this had to have an arrow, right? So I had these great pieces I picked up. The arrow is from Dollar Tree and the little love wooden piece I actually got at Walmart. I was so disappointed not to be able to get my hands on those little galvanized metal pieces that we all love from Dollar Tree. Alrighty, this is where you guys get to have a little bit of a laugh because I had five hearts and an arrow, so I put them on and then I moved them, and then I moved them again. And I stopped filming because you guys do not want to know how many different ways I tried to put these hearts on. I actually walked away and kept coming back and doing it. Yep, see, stacking them, turning them. This was like the simplest part of the project and it took me the longest, seriously. I'm using wire to attach this. I don't want to glue it on because I love this wreath and I can see myself using it over and over and over again. So I picked up some of the green wire at Dollar Tree just so that I could feed it around the back and it wouldn't show. So I did the same with all the hearts, just wove it through the back and wired it around the back of the wreath. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Everything is staying really well. Everything was, I was able to manipulate it a little bit because of the wire. So I'm happy with the way this turned out, and now I am super excited to use it for other holidays. This is going to be one of my favorites, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I am going to use a ribbon to hang this. I got this great pink burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree, but no bow. I really struggle with bows, you guys. They just feel a little too poofy for me or something. If you like bows, this would have looked fantastic with a bow. So do it. I strongly encourage you to do it. For me, we're just gonna go with a little bit of a nice, straight, simple hanger. Now wait till you see what it looks like all finished. Ah, I totally love this, you guys. You know, you get an idea in your head and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but this one did and I'm really happy with the way it came out. Now, do not forget to click on that playlist link and go and check out everyone else's videos. If you're coming from one of the other channels, please stop and say hello in the comments. Tell me which channel you came over from and hopefully you'll consider subscribing. You guys, thanks so much for stopping by Lisa and Company and we'll see you next time.